A lot of times it's hard to talk about grieving and childhood memories and birthdays and gatherings. And it's not hard for me to talk about those things because my whole life has been a whole big celebration of things followed by a lot of isolation from families. When I was a kid, I used to have a party every time I had a birthday. Um, Party meaning my family came over and everybody had a fun time. And it was just so great to celebrate with everybody. Every time somebody had a birthday in my family, we did something. When I was a kid, a loss of a family member was also something that was grieved differently. You had a funeral, you had a lot of people crying, a lot of people just sad and not knowing or understanding what it is to grieve. People cry for those days at first and then just brush things to the side and move on with their lives and life just keeps going, it goes on. My mom and her sisters used to have slumber parties. We we had such great sleepovers when my aunts came over and my grandmother was there. It was so fun. We laughed, told jokes, things just were funny for no reason. And those gatherings are not happening anymore. We're all adults, everybody grew apart. The millennial children and Gen Z children are learning so much more on the internet. So people are fading away from the toxicity of family and the whole blood is thicker than water type of thing. I feel like people are doing their own thing now and learning how to choose happiness over stress because of what the burdens of family are going to be over your mental health. People are choosing goodness and fun and positive energy over dealing with the burdens of what your family thinks of you if you're doing cool things that are outside of what they normally do. I lost my aunt last night. She was my mother's oldest sister. And this lady was so funny, man. She was hilarious. Her humor and my grandmother's humor were unmatched. And thinking about her life and what she did in her entire life, you know, she did have a husband. They they were married for a long time, then they weren't. And she made some bad choices in her life when it comes to her habits, but she succeeded those bad habits and survived but I don't know if she did live a full, happy life. I don't know if she did all the things that she wished she want, she could do with her entire life. But I hope that some of the people in her life made it easier for her to be happy. And I'm celebrating her life every day by cherishing those happy moments that I spent with her. We laughed and we cried together and we told jokes and I'll always remember that. And I'm always be grateful for how 
fun it was when she was around. Sometimes I wish that I could continue those traditions and I feel like I will continue those traditions with my friends who are also my family and some of my family who are good people, just good-hearted people that I'll do anything for. So I would hope that we can continue fun, happy traditions and make memories and have them in photo albums like how we grew up. And by the way, I did a bunch of stuff this week. I created a lavender wreath in a farm with amazing ladies. And I got invited to a catering company that had an event and I ate some really yummy food. So this is what this video was presenting to you. But I wanted to share just some of moments. I feel like we have moments in life and we need to talk about them sometimes. And while I'm grieving for my loss, I cherish every moment because you never know when those moments will be over. And I hope that you do too. And I'm thankful for every person that has been in my life who made it easier to tolerate because there's a lot of awful things in the world. But I hope you did enjoy this video, even though I didn't talk about what I was doing or what I was eating. But I hope to see you in the next one and have a great week. Bye.